Hello friends, welcome to day two of our archaeological site advent where every day I will be taking you to one of my favorite archaeological sites that are typically not on your generic like top 10 archaeological site list. If you missed day one's video on Baalbek, be sure to go and check it out in the playlist that I've linked down below. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to make sure that you don't miss out on a single video for this entire series. While most people only really go to Angkor Wat when they're visiting Cambodia, Koh Kher is a lesser known but equally stunning ancient city of the Khmer Empire. Located in a remote area about 120 kilometers away from the capital city of Siem Reap, a trip to Koh Kher may not be the easiest trek, but visitors are still able to go and marvel at about two dozen of the over 160 structures that cover the site. I wouldn't really suggest going off to find the rest of them though, because most of them are still hidden like deep within the forest and the entire area has yet to be demined, so tread lightly my friends. Koker is a temple complex slash ancient city that was founded in the 10th century CE and was briefly the capital city of the Khmer Empire under King Jayavarman IV and his son from the years 928 CE to 944 CE. The site is home to at least 76 temples as well as civil structures, ponds, dikes, and roads. Jayavarman IV implemented a very impressive building program, which is how a lot of these structures originated. From inscriptions found at the site, it's estimated that more than 10,000 people lived at Kokare while it was the capital, and a unique sculptural style emerged at the site with the creation of these beautiful, expressive stone pieces. The site was really heavily looted during the Cambodian War from the 1970s to the 1990s, and a lot of these statues now stand in museums all around the world and in private collections. A lot of statues have since been removed from Kokare as well for just their own protection. A lot of them are still in Cambodia, thankfully, and a few are actually trying to get repatriated as well. Kokare was pretty abandoned shortly after the deaths of Jayavaram IV and his son in 944, but a few more temples were built periodically over the coming years, with the last sanctuary constructed in the 13th century. The temples were then consumed by the jungle, but recent research shows just how unique this site was in its technologies, urban planning, and water management techniques. Did I mention that it also has this super beautiful seven-tier pyramid? Honestly, guys, do not sleep on Kokare. After you visit this site, you're gonna be saying like, Angkor, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, that was a really bad joke. <laughs> And on that note, that is it for day two of our archaeological site advent. If you liked that video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. Make sure you also smash that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the other videos for the advent calendar this month. And be sure to check out the rest of the playlist to check out any of the other videos that you might have missed along the way. Big thanks to all of my patrons over on Patreon. If you like the channel, you like what I do, you want to help support it, head on over to Patreon and become a patron. You get a lot of really cool perks over there. Here are all of my socials. And as always, stay dirty, my friends.